If this is your first time using TSW coatings, or if you will be requesting a warranty, you need to register with us prior to application. We will be asking for you and your company's info, the type and size of your job, as well as a few other details to ensure the best application for your job. When protecting painted services, we recommend waiting 48 hours before applying the coating. You also want to make sure that you're going over 100% acrylic latex paints. We do not recommend going over oil-based paints. If you're unsure, perform a test patch. We offer a test kit, which includes everything needed to do an eight to 10 square foot test patch. Only mix what you will use in a six hour period. Simply pour the ingredients of the 10 ounce bottle into the clamshell and stir in the linker, which is in the small bottle. If it appears too thick, simply add some water and blend in with the brush supplied. Brush a thin coat on the surface being tested. Apply a minimum of three more coats with a dry time of about 45 minutes between coats. The kit also includes a small bottle of TSW2R Multimaster. This is the only cleaner we recommend for removing vandalism from our coatings. If you plan on tagging the coated surface to test for removal, you should wait a minimum of three to four days, allowing the coating to cure. If you have product left over, it can be linked again. You would need to purchase more linker. When protecting large surfaces, an airless sprayer is recommended. A minimum of four thin coats with a reapplication time of one hour or dry to the touch between coats. For tip size, refer to our detailed product data sheet. For smaller areas, such as 100 square feet or smaller, a paintbrush and roller can be used. The main thing is to not over apply. If applied too heavily, the coating can turn milky or cloudy. The key is to apply thin coats. If the product seems a little too thick, or if you notice it's foaming as you're rolling it on, you can add water to the coating to thin it. Reapplication time is dry to the touch or one hour. Smooth out any runs or drips while they are still wet with a paint pad or a dry paint brush. Painted surfaces protected with Acrylomaster can be painted over without having to strip the coating. When applying the coating over new stucco or concrete, you want to treat it as if you were going to paint the surface. Make sure the surface is clean and free of any loose stucco or efflorescence. You also want to make sure the pH is below 10, so you may want to let the surface cure at least 30 days prior to coating. On porous natural surfaces, you can dilute the first coat 40% with water to fill the pores. Only mix what you're going to use within a six hour period when mixing the linker with Acrylomaster. If you have product left over, it can be linked again, but you would need to purchase more linker as we only supply you with enough to do it one time. When applying over a freestanding wall, make sure one coat goes over the entire surface anywhere moisture can get to. On this example where you see the freestanding while they're applying it, they will apply it on both sides and the header to prevent moisture from getting behind the coating. For CMU and split face block and other porous and bumpy surfaces, a minimum of five coats is recommended. If Acrylomaster is applied too heavily on natural porous substrates, it can appear milky or white due to over application. If this is dried and still appears this way, the cure is to remove it with our TSW 3G Mason Master and a pressure washer. Clean spills and splatters immediately with soap and water. When the job is complete, we recommend cleaning your brushes, rollers, and or spray equipment with our TSW 5 Spray Clean. Once cleaned with TSW 5, rinse the tools with clear water. Graffiti can be removed multiple times from Acrylomaster protected surfaces by using our TSW2R Multimaster. This is the only product that should be used for removing vandalism from Acrylomaster. It will be necessary to recoat areas that have been repeatedly cleaned as some coating removal can occur.
With regard to maintenance of cleaning of acrylic master down line, use cleaning agents that would typically be used for any exterior acrylic latex paints.